past. Um, so this one says a uh, 250 mil sample of a uh, solution contains 0 0.134 moles of solute. Calculate the molarity of the solution. Do you guys think you can do that one? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. After, after this, right? <laughs> okay, so what do we have given to us in this problem? The volume, right? So, is the volume in liters? No. no so we're going to have to convert it to liters. What is the volume that's given to us? 250, right? But there's no decimal point there, so we got to kind of watch our sig things, okay? And it's in mils. So why don't we just go ahead and convert that to liters already? How do we do that? Multiply by what? What's on top here? One liter. And what's bottom? 1,000 mils, right? Why? Why is the mils on the bottom? Because we want to cancel them out, right? And we want to get liters, right? Makes sense now, huh? What, uh, what's that number? 0 0.25, right? You don't have to put that zero there, okay? Leaders. So very good. Um, and we also have uh, the number of moles, right? So what is that? 0 0.134 moles. Okay, so that one was fairly straightforward. The only thing we really needed to do was convert that liters for uh, convert that milliliters to liters, and then just do our problem, right? So what is molarity? Is number of moles per liters of solution, right? Do we have both of those things? Yes. So what are we going to put on top here? 0 0.134 moles, right? And on the bottom, 0 0.25 liters. Okay. And then just 0.134 divided by 0.25. And what do you guys get? 0 0.5364. Right? Mole. Why would it be that? Two sig figs. Remember, molar sig figs, guys, chapter one stuff. I think it was the first thing we learned, right? Um, molar means moles per liter, okay? So whenever you see this, you can put that instead of it, okay? Does that make sense? Just like whenever you see, you can put that instead of putting all of that stuff, right? You can put that little thing instead of putting all of that stuff, okay? Does that make sense? Okay. Any other questions on that? Okay, good.